it's Joe. And today I am going to share with you guys my experience going to see a live taping of Deal or No Deal. You know, Deal or No Deal, the one that's on TV with Howie Mandel. Yes, Howie Mandel, guys. I was able to go to see a live taping of that. <laughs> I was so shocked because I cannot believe that I was like inches away from Howie Mandel and the beautiful girls holding the cases and, and, and the actual studio. I've never been like in a studio or live taping before. I've seen the show on TV. It's coming back this December. We used to watch it all the time and it's making a comeback. They, they're calling it Deal or No Deal 2.0, I believe. Universal Studio, every once in a while, they have a different kind of taping that comes. They have Family Feud, which I missed out on. I, I really wanted to go to that, but I missed out on that. For a while, they had Monday Night Raw was here. My husband used to go with my son all the time. So this time, Deal or No Deal is here till August 11th, I believe. So he went online, got the tickets for us to go. We went just a few days ago. I was just so excited. What I was thinking the whole time is, how can I be a freaking contestant on Deal or No Deal? Shoot, I wanna be like Howie, banker, no deal, and put the thing down, you know? But whatever, it's too late. Oh, they already got everybody who's gonna be on the show. They've already have all the taping schedule, and so they're just doing them back to back. They do, I think, two a day. We went to the 10 o'clock, and then they had a one at one o'clock. That's every day to the 11th. They do all the tapings, and then once December 5th, I believe, it's gonna be the first day that the show's gonna come on. They already have everything recorded, everything's already done. It's not really live. I mean, when we're there, we're sharing and we're watching the thing, it's live. But when it comes on TV, it's not live. And I didn't know that. We got to experience what it was like to be in the audience, you know? So it was pretty cool to see that side. I mean, it's pretty magical when you're watching it at home and you're there, no, no deal, deal, no deal, whatever. But I mean, to be in the audience, it was pretty cool. Oh, we found out that there's a dress code so you you can wear jeans but you got to make sure that your top is a solid color you want a dressy color they wanted you to be dressed up hip and cool uh try to keep away from patterns or wearing all white i did not realize that in my freaking closet everything i have is pretty much patterns and what solid colors are my t-shirts or my like you know hanging out kind of clothes but my dressy stuff everything has patterns on it so the night before, I ran out to the store and I tried to find something, but I couldn't find anything I liked. But when I came back home, I'm like, I have to have something. And I found an old shirt that I had and it worked out. But anyway, so that morning, got up real early to get dressed, to get ready. I was going to try to do a get ready with me video, but since we had to be there at least an hour before 10 o'clock or up like at 6 o'clock in the morning, I got up to get ready, go pick up his cousin and then to drive all the way to Universal. So there was no way I was gonna have time to tape it. So that didn't happen. Once we got there, the line was already forming. They start telling you the rules a little bit while you're standing in line. How many are in your group? But we were sitting, we we're kind of in the angle, but it was perfect because the camera was right there. We were like, how we, was facing kind of us and then have the the counter where you have the little thing where you're gonna click no deal you can see the girls really good and that angle is was right like shooting I don't know if that makes sense I hope I'm making sense because I'm like just super excited about the whole experience I still can't believe that we went to an actual taping of this anyway so they go over the rules before it starts once you're in and they have you sitting down the lights are going you know there's a bunch of people walking around making sure they're sitting people making sure you're not wearing any sunglasses making sure nothing is showing oh one thing that they do now is they don't want any phones they don't want no phones out they want to make sure that nobody's recording nobody's on the phone during or anything and i wanted to record a little bit in there just to show you guys what the studio looked like but i'll insert clips that i find online so you guys if you're not familiar with deal or no deal i'll put some up so you guys can see what show i'm talking about what they do now they make you put your phone in there and then it's kind of like uh you know those security tags that are on clothes when you go shopping and so you don't steal the clothes it's kind of something like that that clips on and you cannot get your phone out they give you your the case with your phone so you have your phone in your purse but it's in this like little pouch that you you can't get into your phone they gave it to you you put it in your bag you go sit down this guy comes out he's like the mc hyping up the crowd kind of going over the rules with you so he's telling you when to clap when not to clap how to cheer there was times, guys, that we were clapping and cheering. Woo! 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 
out like that for like a minute straight, okay? No lie. Let me tell you, that was a workout because my arms are burning. After a while, you're just clapping, clapping, you're clapping really loud. And if you don't get it right, you gotta start all over again. So, you know, they're letting you know when Howie comes out, you start clapping. He's gonna be in the side, he's gonna tell you if he keeps going like this, that means get louder, cheer louder, keep clapping, keep clapping. When he goes like this, that means stop. So, there was one point where he was going like this that felt like forever, and you're clapping and cheering and clapping and cheering. Woo! You're supposed to look excited. Woo! And then every time she picks one of the cases and a high number comes up, but it's not like one of the bigger, bigger numbers, you're supposed to be like, oh, but still clap. Still encourage her, it's okay. Or if she hits one of the bigger numbers, oh, make that sound. He was telling us, or when the banker gives a deal, you're like supposed to look all nervous, like, oh my God. And then when she says, no deal, what? But this year, there's two new things that's a little different from the game, and that's why it's called Deal or No Deal 2.0 is the name of it. The two new things that they added, some kind of trip or some kind of prize in one of the suitcases. So if she picks one of the suitcases that has this prize, in this show, she won a cruise. I think it was a seven-day cruise um, that she won. If she picks that case and it fits in there, she's gonna walk out with whatever the price is. And the other thing is, if you're familiar with the show, you know that once the banker gives a deal, Howie picks up the phone, he's talking with her back and forth. Once he hangs up the phone, he tells the contestant that's there, this is the deal, blah, blah, blah. Once she hears the deal, she could counter offer it. She could come back, let's say, they had offered her $74,000. So at this point, she had lost a lot of numbers. She lost a million dollars. So there was two big numbers that were still up. So the deal was $75,000. That was the deal that the banker had given her. So she counter offered it for $94,000. So what happens here is if it's the banker accepts her counter offer then she walks out with that money but if the banker comes back and says no then it's like she said no deal and she has to pick another suitcase and if she gets one of the higher numbers then the deal will come back lower you know and so forth she counter offer she didn't get the deal so she had to pick more suitcase uh, the episode that we went to is going to air december 5th i can't believe we gotta wait so long but i'm super excited with this woman walked out 170 or 195 I can't remember but it was something like that I know she walked out with a good amount of money on top of her seven day cruise man I was like oh my god how can I be a contestant on this freaking show let me tell you I went online and I was looking but it's too late they were all picked already and whatever so now I'm like on my phone when it was the next TV show since this is only gonna be here till August 11th and what's gonna be the next TV show that's gonna be coming because I want to find out and be on top of the game so I can put in for whatever new show is coming because I want to be a contestant on one of these TV shows come on now I want to win some money why not <laughs> hey, we were there for like three hours they said it could be up to five hours depending on the taping and depending how we did we must have done pretty good because it was just three hours but I am like so excited that I got to experience that. I think it was pretty cool. Pretty cool, guys. Yes. So that is my experience of being a, what do, what do you say it? An audience. Uh, an audience member. I was an audience member on Deal or No Deal. <laughs> Hopefully you can see me on TV on December 5th, guys. Is that it's it. That is my video. That is my experience of me being on Deal or No Deal 2.0. Oh, and seeing Howie Mandel. Not meeting him, but I got to see him. You know, I gotta hit you up with, if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, make sure to click on that subscription button. While you're at it, make sure to click on that notification bell so you know when my videos are popping. And don't forget to drop a like. In the meanwhile, guys, remember to be blessed. Mwah! Peace out. All right, so we just got out of Deal or No Deal. I went with my husband, Dan, he's back there, and his cousin, Marcos. What's up, Marcos? What's up? <laughs> what, you what you think of the show? Man, the show was fun. It was great. Yeah, yeah. That lady won a lot of money. She did. She did the deal. She took the deal. They have us clapping a lot. Did you like the clapping? The clapping was a lot, and the yelling. <laughs> the yelling never, never stopped. The yelling never, never stopped. Never to you stop. had to keep going. You had to keep going until they told you to stop. And clapping, my hands hurt. <laughs> my, vo my voice is almost gone. But definitely would love to do deal or no deal. Deal but or deal? Oh no, deal. <laughs> deal, deal.